Okay, hi guys. Um, today's lesson, we're going to continue talking about fact families. We talked about a little bit um, the last video. Um, if you want to take a second to copy your learning target and your essential question, and you want to pause the video for now. Okay, welcome back. So, we are going to be using fact families to solve addition and subtraction of problems. And the essential question today has to do with how are the addition and subtraction problems going to be related. Now this is something that you should kind of see a little bit familiar because uh, we talked about the community properties um, a lot in elementary school so it should be pretty easy, pretty simple. Okay, so I'm going to go through some examples with you. First, I'm going to show you something that um, you should see kind of familiar. It says you can rewrite 3 plus 2 and it's to equal to 5 to make a fat family that shows how the addition sentences is related to two subtraction sentences. So here we have... Here we have our fact families. We start off with 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and all we do is invert these two. We have 2 plus 3 and it's also equal to 5. Then we're going to take the same numbers and turn them into subtraction problems and we have 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 and 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So like I said, this should be something that you should have seen in elementary school, something familiar. It's called the commutative property, if you want to write that down. I'm not sure if you could see that. I might have spelled that wrong. Sorry, this should have been T-I. Okay. okay, so we're going to apply the same methods towards our integers now. So we have negative 3 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 5. So we're going to have to come up with another addition sentence that is going to include the same integers. So what we're going to do is follow the same method we had up here. If you notice, we're going to go ahead and start off with negative 2. We're still going to be adding. And then we have our next integer, negative 3. And our answer should still give us negative 5. Now that we have our both our addition problems, we're going to go ahead and do our subtraction problem. So if you notice up here, we started off with the answers first. So we moved these two fives ended up coming first, so we're going to have to do the same thing down here. So we're going to have to start off with negative 5. We're going to subtract. And then we went ahead and started with the 3, so we're going to go ahead and do negative 3 as well. And this time our answer is going to be the other integer that we didn't use, negative 2. Now, for the last subtraction problem, once again, we start with our answer first, negative 5. We're still subtracting. This time, we're going to go ahead and use negative 2 this time, and our answer is going to be negative 3. Now, don't forget, please make sure you copy these in your C-notes. Now, since I already did the first example for you, I want you to come to class tomorrow. Make sure you have number two in your C-notes worked out the exact same way that we did here. You're going to have three problems. One of them should be addition. The other two should be subtraction. Like I said, use the same properties that we did up here for the commutative property. Thank you.